this tournament in Spikers Turf history continues with another packed day. And today, the best of the up and coming talents will be on full display. But we will also be showcasing teams that have been dominating the league the past years. This is where youth meets a tradition, where power meets passion. Welcome to the Spikers Turf. It is another beautiful day for Philippine Volleyball, folks, as we give you your continuing coverage of the 2023 Spikers Turf Invitational Conference coming to you live from the Paco Arena in Manila. And we are featuring a couple of collegiate teams squaring off in the first two games for your Spikers Turf Sunday, beginning with DLSU Echo Oil going up against PCU Tasma Saskin. Then later on, we have Bayleaf LPU going up against Chef on a Diet FEU to be followed by Perpetual versus Philippine Army. And then the Santa Rosa City Lions going up against our uh, defending at least silver medalists, mm -hmm. our ating Signal HD Spikers. And they were also champions actually in our most recent conference here in the Spikers Turf. Thank you for joining us, folks. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Anne Remulia Kanda and the returning Apple David on volleyball, uh, at least the volleyball landscape of uh, Philippine sports. No? So, Anne, let me ask you this question. Nakita na natin itong DLSU in their previous game. They were dominant with their second unit on the floor. But I want to get your evaluation from the PCU side because ito nga yung uh, isa sa mga unong opportunities na nakikita natin sila on the national stage. What can you say about them? You know, I think this team has a lot of fight in them, a lot of good talents as well. But tulad nga ng sinabi natin, it, it will be their first time mm -hmm. to compete uh, in a league such as, as this. So, siguro may mga first game jitters din and natapat din sila sa mga veterano nung kanilang unang laro. That's why today will be a very interesting match as they go up against one of the early favorites no, yes. in this pool. Well, uh, why don't we talk about the Pool B in particular right now? What's happening so far in the picture? Got uh, here the LSU. We talked about them. They uh, are coming off a win, and ito yung sinabi natin na it was uh, quite an impressive win for mm -hmm. uh, this squad. An early favorite here in uh, Pool B. Samantala, ito si PCU Dasma Saskin naman still looking at their first win, and we know that uh, we have a lot of teams no mm -hmm. here in the Spiker Surf. May 24 teams tayo, so for uh, Pool B, they will uh, be competing with the top two also of uh, Pool A. So ito talaga very important for them to up those wins here in uh, the elimination round. Well, DLSU is basically riding on a high because they just achieved history in the UAAP, making a final four appearance in season 85. Let's talk about their previous outing. A couple of their veterans did not play, but uh, as you can see you know, on the picture, Jules De Jesus, we had to put his picture there because he was the star against VNS. Definitely. It was a very convincing uh, game actually for uh, DLSU. We did talk about uh, their win. It was a straight set win. And if you look at the numbers, ano, yung pinakamataas na nakuha ng kanilang uh, kalaban in this match, 23 points, but they did uh, sweep this in straight sets. And if you look at the different skill departments, so we'll see that uh, they there is really dominance when it comes to offense. Pagating sa kanilang blocking, it was uh, really on point for DLSU. And that's a big testament uh, because VNS is no joke here in the Spikers turf. You have JB Sumagaysay uh, being a part of that team with Pemi, with Barbie as well in that lineup. And speaking of Barbie, well, he had a showdown against Jules De Jesus, who really got his shot in that previous game. Oh, definitely. It was uh, an impressive game for uh, De Jesus. We know that uh, uh, for De Jesus, no, he was actually one of uh, the players who got this rare chance to start in uh, that game. Uh, most of the reserve players, yun nga yung sinabi natin, reserve players were given the chance to play in that match. And really, quality, quality time and quality game here for De Jesus, who has uh, uh, racked up 14 points in that match. Well, you have to be happy for guys like Jules De Jesus because even though they're considered as veterans for DLSU, technically speaking, no, rookie lang sila ng UAP Season oh. 85 because their rookie stints were uh, cut by our pandemic. So now let's talk about the previous game of PCU Dasma. Well, for these youngsters, it was really a, a tough tough assignment for them going up against the veterans of Philippine Air Force. Alam mo, baka magandang binyag nga to, no? It was a tough first game for uh, this uh, team but it was a good way to also baptize them into uh, the spiker serve. So again, it's tough but it prepares them for all of the teams uh, they'll go up against, no? Moving forward, as we look at the numbers in that match, clearly the veterans dominating it but uh, what is good, no? If they would look at the numbers in the third set 
at makikita natin the vast improvement in how they performed. Kinulang lang because of course we know that they're up against uh, really experienced players but again, it is the progression you know, that you have to uh, give them uh, credit for. Nagumanda yung kanilang laro in the third set. Well, in the spirit of today being a Sunday and you already saying the word baptism, you know, let's see if they can <laughs> baptize us with their first win today <laughs> in the Spikers turf. Why don't we talk about Reynold Onra for the blue shirts in their previous game. Well, uh, you know, merong mga high flyers dito sa team ng uh, PCU and one of them is uh, Honra. Made plenty of noise in uh, that last match. He scored uh, 11 points out of his 42 attempts. That's uh, around 26% in terms of success rate. And uh, Honda is also one of the uh, best young players in Cavite. So he's dominated local league. So hindi na sa kanya bago ang ganitong mga tournament. He actually has three MVP awards from Cavite. To which, no, setor niya doon si Ishpol Borosa. And so that really helped his campaign. Let's see if he can perform well against DLSU in today's outing. Now we turn you over to Apple David for our Pilipinas Live poll question. There's been a lot of anticipation for the return of the Spikers Turf, and that is why we want to hear from our fans online, especially those on the Filipinas Live app. And so right now, we have our poll questions below the stream asking which libero will have more digs in this game? Is it going to be a JP Sagun or Menard Guerrero? Key in your answers now, and feel free to join our conversations. Just don't forget, use our hashtag Spikers Turf 2023. I know you're all excited to get the games going so let's get to know our starters presenting our national officials of this match first referee miss joy de imus second referee mr mark santos and now let's call on your starters for de la salle university echo oil Calling on jersey number four, Uriel Mendoza. Wearing jersey number eight, Johannes Poquita. At number 11, Eugene Gloria. Wearing jersey number 13, Nathaniel Del Pilar. At number 20, Glenn Rui Ventura. Wearing jersey number 22, Joshua Jamiel Rodriguez. Starting libero is number six, Menard Guerrero. Head coach is Mr. Jose Roque. Presenting the starters for Philippine Christian University, Saskin Dolphins. Calling on their team captain at number 14, Lan Carlo Agatep. At jersey number four, Reynold David Honra. Wearing jersey number seven, Sian Kester Lara. At number eight, Edmaron Alfilo. Wearing jersey number 12, Guy Lord Ivan De La Cruz. And at number six, Jet Dius Alvio. Starting libero is number two, John Patrick Sagun. Head coach is Mr. Reagan Espera. This is match number 14 of the preliminary rounds, Pool B, between DLSU We have the starters for DLSU Echo Oil. It's Young Mendoza with JJ Rodriguez, Rui Ventura, Jean Poquita, Nath Del Pilar, Uge Gloria, and Nard Guerrero for the green shirts of today's outing. Then they're going to go up against PCU's De La Cruz, Lara, Agatep, Ondra, Alvior, Alfiler, and Sagun. PCU is looking for their first victory in our Invitational Conference while the LSU is gunning for its second win in their Pool B campaign. Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez alongside Anne Remulia Kanda and Apple David. Now, uh, as you can see, no, in the starting unit of the LSU, wala po dyan si Jules De Jesus. And I'm very excited for the first report of Apple because she has the information for us later on regarding her status for this game. Here's Yoyong Mendoza. Strong hit there. Ball up by PCU. Ooh, sumobra yung atake ni Agatep. Rough start here for uh, PCU. Again, this is a young team. Practically the first time that we're seeing them play on this level in Philippine 
men's volleyball. The good thing though about PCU, as told to us by Carlo Agate, is the fact, unfortunately, as they get blocked in this moment, no? maganda sa PCU is the fact that they have a core na matagal na magkasama. We have a ton of third-year players wearing white for the PCU Dolphins. So let's see if that chemistry can actually pay off against DLSU. And we did also mention uh, during the pregame, of course, kidding aside about the baptism, I think it was a good way for them to start mm -hmm. also yes. the ano, kalaban nila. So they got a taste and um, of, of how it's what it's like, mm -hmm. the kind of uh, the level of play that is needed. Although in this match, I, I guess if we are to look at uh, confidence level, and of course DLSU coming from that convincing win. Coming from that uh, convincing win would have that edge, of course, mentally also. Well, in fairness for PCU, they got closer and closer against Air Force in their previous game. So if that momentum can actually be translated against the LSU, then uh, that should be a good sign. Unfortunately, that attack was an overhit. It's uh, been a struggle at this point for the Dolphins to get a clean attack. It's now four, serving zero. The setter of the LSU, Pox Poquita. Putting it in, ball up by the Libero. Good defense on the floor by Lasal. Attack from the opposite. Wow, what an effort by Nord Guerrero. The ball is alive, a chance for the white shirts. There's the look to the middle, and the first point belonging to Carlo Agate. That was a good drop. But also re really good effort on the side of DLSU to uh, save that ball. Agatep, the team captain of PCU serving. That's long. Let me ask you this. If you're a young team or a young player being a part of a higher level now or a new level of Philippine volleyball, Sa service line mo ba pinaka nararamdaman yung kaba? Because everybody's looking at you. You know, I think in a way, yes. Ah, because th this is where they say also, nobody will force you to commit that error. You are in full control. Yes. And yet, there's a lot of expectations so, pag nasa service line ka. But at this point, PCU already with uh, four errors. So something they need to put a stop, they need to put a stop on that and control it. Dahil uh, mahihirapan silang sumabay no, against uh, DLS who's enjoying this lead. That's basically more than half of the points of DLSU coming from the errors of PCU. As young Mendoza, the 18-year-old, now serves. That was a strong serve. There's the attack by PCU's De La Cruz. Push. That's long a point for the Dolphins. It's now two serving six. To remind everybody, this is not actually the full force unit of the LSU on the floor. They do have three veterans who look to be sitting out again in this game. That's you know, JM, Vince, and Noel. As Ventura gives us a hammer of an attack from the opposite. Good uh, clean offense that deserves a second look. It's a lefty with that uh, attack. By the way, the veterans that we were mentioning are JM uh, Magina, sorry, Vince Magina, JM Ronquillo, and Noel Campton. But they are suited up for the green shirts. Just ready to be called upon. As now it's a point for the guy that we talked about in the pregame. Honra finally uh, making his uh, presence felt. Well, David Honra was the top scorer with 15 points for PCU versus Philippine Air Force. As we mentioned, isa siyang uh, alamat, no? Kumbaga, in oh. some way, sa Kabite, with three MVP awards there. As now, it's a strong attack again from DLSU. And they will send us to the first technical timeout.
Welcome back to the 2023 Spiker Surf Invitational Conference. And as you've noticed, Jules De Jesus is not seeing action today as he was not able to attend two days of practice due to a school retreat. And taking his starter spot, it's uh, Eugene Gloria, last year's UAAP Junior Season MVP. And this is actually a bit unexpected for Eugene as he's just coming from a right knee strain he sustained last week. But as a true fighter, when an opportunity comes, he is more than willing to battle through those aches and pains. Mix it on. Thank you, Apple. And again, welcome back to Philippine Volleyball. Uh, I'd like to comment on two things, though. No? Number one, the absence of Jules De Jesus. Well, he looks to be happy at the <laughs> sideline. Full makeup pa rin naman. Oh, yeah. ready for the camera exposure. Oh, ready for the camera exposure after playing very well, scoring 14 in their previous game. Nararamdaman mo yung pagka-estudyante, no? no? You have to miss some training sessions dahil meron pang retreat. Papareflect ka muna sa buhay mo <laughs> before you go back to volleyball. Uh, may comment ka ba doon or should we proceed to the second point? I think you can go to the second okay. point. Okay, the second point is the fact that uh, Apple mentioned the MVP of NU in their high school division na siya yung pamalit, no? Yun lang naman yung pamalit ni Jules. Maliit na bagay. <laughs> Maliit na bagay. But he's coming from a strain injury. Kapag meron kang strain injury, how bad does it usually get? You know, I think... For one, no, the coaching staff wouldn't force you or wouldn't, um, you know, force the issue to let you play if mm -hmm. it were that bad. So I, okay. I think there are a couple of things here. So he may have had a strain. So it's good to know that it's not that serious mm -hmm. and he's able to play today. But also, this is the beauty of being young. Oh, the, yeah. the joy of being, uh, having youth. I, I, I love how you put oh, that. <laughs> because, I mean, in, in, in this case, talaga, you, they have all the energy and yung kanilang body parts, fresh, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Alam naman ko medyo may emotions na kasama si Andun sa analysis na yun. Eh, no? <laughs> but thank you for giving us your thoughts about that. It's now 5 serving 10. PCU is down. That's in by Jet Albior. There's the running hit. And a good rejection by Agatep. Is that something that you would like to see a lot more from PCU? Especially the net defense though, that I'm talking about. Because... They don't seem to be the tallest team. They aren't, but you know, in blocking, of course, height is an advantage. But if you time it well, if you read the attacker well from the other side, malaking tulong ang blocking, just like uh, what we are seeing now, no? Uh, eases the pressure on uh, for your defense. Oh, that's kept alive. Attack by Agatep, put up by DLSU. Pokita to the quick. Good return again on the net. And a chance ball is given up for the Dolphins. Back row hit. Nice elevation. That's by David Onra. We have been talking about him. And uh, that is Honra just uh, showcasing how he is able to score, not just in the front line, but also in the back row. Truly a uh, force when it comes to offense. I'm sure a lot of people also admired the form no, of David Onra mm. as he went up for that hit. Much like in basketball, Mitsan kasi sa basketball, as now we get a strong hit from Young Mendoza. Going back to my point, Mitsan, sa basketball, makikita mo sa shooting form pa lang eh, nung player na, ah, papasok yan. May ganung bang uh, sense or logic yes. sa volleyball? Yes, definitely. So you, you, you would see, ano, from the approach or, or the form of an attacker, di ba? And, and marami tayong ganyan, makikita natin yung mga, usually, no, yung ating mga uh, highest scores, top scores, be it, Men's or women's, yan. Makikita mo yung form, yung leaping ability, the versatility actually, no, of, of an attacker. And Honra actually, very nice to yeah. watch, no, pagdating sa opensa. And another guy who was nice to watch in that previous sequence was JJ Rodriguez, who scored for the LSU Echo Oil. As now, it's a five-point advantage again for the green shirts. But boy, what a quick attack that was by Sean Lara. And you know, this is where uh, blocking really plays a very important part. That was a single block for DLSU, allowed more space for the attacker to score that point. I'd like us to observe Sean Lara all the more later on because we do have a number of small middle blockers no, in the spiker stir. Let's see if he actually fits that category. As now another point comes in for Young Mendoza. 
great uh, play over there, great execution on the side of DLSU. Young Mendoza, we've talked about him as one of the youngest, brightest stars in the landscape of Philippine volleyball. Highly recruited, obviously, by a couple of universities, but he chose DLSU because, of course, the influence of his family as well. We also love the fact that he's playing for the green shirts. Nice hit. Good smarts by Ventura. Now we have a timeout for PCU. Okay, like, uh, did you hear the tone of uh, Coach Reagan Espera? Medyo may pagka-loving yung tone niya, no? Medyo malambing yung boses niya. Oh, ma maaga pa naman daw. Ah, okay, it is, okay, okay. It is, uh, <laughs> they are down, pero maaga pa. They, we've seen the progression nga, no, in their first game. I'd always come back to that. It, mm -hmm. it seems like it takes them a while yeah. to warm up, to really para mag it and get the groove of the game. But hopefully not too long, no, with, with uh, their opponent now, uh, DLSU. Well, that's a good point because that's basically what happened in their previous game. Patas ang patas yung score nila against the Air Force squad. As now, it's a hit from Agatep and that's a point again for him. It's now 9-14. to 14. Let's take a look at what just happened. Combination. Service is long. The errors have been piling up for PCU. Indeed, Agatep, three points uh, in this match so far. But we did mention ano, that uh, earlier on, apat na four points yung kanilang giveaway sa DLSU and uh, has increased. I'm sure there would be some concerns as well. No? Even though you're scoring, as that attack was low by Ondra, you don't want your errors, your individual errors, to be more than your points. As now, we proceed to our second technical timeout. Joshua Latamar, outside heater, Brian Bagunas, and Marcus Peo. Opposite Spiker, siyempre ako. Uh, middle, Malabunga. And sa second middle, Bugawan. Sa libero, Vince Lorenzo. O Jack Kalinki. Uh, kaya mag-champion nun kahit sa ano, BNL. <laughs> That's a big statement from uh, JM. Ronquillo, as folks, we invite you to watch the Spiker Surf live in HD and on demand via Filipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. But I'm not going to give a pass just like that to JM Ronquillo, as another point comes in now for Saskin PCU. It's good, know that you have these players with that type of confidence within themselves. And also, dun sa mga colleagues nila in Philippine Volleyball. Oh, naman. Yung nga VNL levels. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man, I, I hope we can compete and actually win there someday. As it's now a point off the block for DLSU. So, uh, Eugene Gloria is now making his impact for the green shirts. Apple did report about him being an MVP back in high school for NU. And we all know about that NU program. Mm -hmm. It's very prestigious. 17 serving 10. There's the setup to the opposite. Ball up by the setter of Echo Oil. And here comes Ventura. Nice hit. 
Ventura, of course, also coming from a uh, family of volleyball uh, player. His mom. Oh, I think watching here, uh, Michelle the twin from uh, DLSU. Did you actually play with her? I did, yes. You did? Yes, I did play with her. This is a bit of a long shot, but are you seeing any similarities? They As play now. different positions, but if you, like, body type, uh, Michelle was also very good in blocking. She was a middle blocker. Ooh. So you see, it really runs in the family, you know? There you go. That's why we have Andre Mulyakanda as our analyst here at the sideline, so she can share to us her thoughts back in the day when she was playing as well. Now we have our first challenge, whether or not that last ball was in or out. Okay, so right now the score reads 18 to 10 in favor of Echo Oil DLSU. I'd like you to reevaluate PCU once again as we take a look at uh, that replay. It looks like the ball was out. It was out. So this should be going PCU's way, right? Much uh, needed point, of course, for uh, PCU. PCU scored 18 points in the opening set versus Philippine Air Force. Now they're up to 11. But they've already given up 18 mm -hmm. to DLSU Echo Oil. I was about to ask you to evaluate their start here compared to their previous start. Pero yung pacing ng scoring nila mukhang pareho lang, no? Oh, it, it, it looks the same. But I think one of the things that we uh, did mention no, in, in uh, this first set, one observation is that the errors still keep pouring in. And that right now they have seven errors. DLSU has managed to minimize it to three. So that's a huge uh, giveaway already for uh, DLSU. Well, the seven errors are basically the difference of this matchup so far. Mm -hmm. As now, PCU gets a point because of a net touch. It's now 12 serving 18. Let's see what happened there. Oh, there was a yeah. Uh, yeah, net infraction. That's by Nat Del Pilar, the tallest player of Echo Oil DLSU. Service now by Mo Ilara. And here comes Ventura. Ball dug up. Lara sends it through. Del Pilar towering against all the other players. Counter on the other end, but that was too strong from Honra. Bit of a slow start here for uh, PCU. All right, so we're hearing some cheers for Mr. Von Marata, who's going to come off the bench. He also came off the bench versus VNS. May isa pa siyang kasama eh, na nag-check in, si Simon Encarnacion. Unfortunately for Simon, hindi ganun kalakas yung cheers para sa kanya. <laughs> so it looks like si oh, favorite is si yung teammates nila eh, no? <laughs> or maybe, uh, as it usually is, no? Yung mga hindi masyado nakakalaro talaga yung sinusuportahan ng kanilang mga teammates. Let's see what Vaughn can do for us. Right now, it is Simon who will be serving. Also came off the bench in their previous mm. game. That's an error. Three point here for uh, PCU. But the bench of the LSU is still chanting Marata. Pressure, putting a bit of pressure on uh, their teammate. Are they going to go to him now? There it is, Marata from the opposite. Oh, and there is a net violation on the side of PCU. Too eager to get that block. So the cheers are all worth it for Echo Oil DLSU. Here's the approach by Vaughn. Oh, quite clear. Nangyayari din ba yun na nararamdaman mo kung sino yung gustong makascore sa kalaban na may gigil ka rin i-block siya? Oh yes, definitely. I think for most of these, ano no, syempre babasahin nila kung sino yung uh, papalo. But uh, it, the satisfaction actually, regardless, I guess, of uh, you know who the opponent is, the satisfaction of scoring a point from a block is yeah. different. Oh, oh. May stare down pang kasama oh, yan oh. usually. Libero on the first ball. Young Mendoza with the cross. Maluwag ang depensa on the side of uh, PCU. Young Mendoza, again, is only 18 years old. We've been saying his age, each and every confidence, because he's been competing on this high level already for a couple of years. In the PNBF Champions League, 
and in the spikers stir for VNS. Such great exposure, yeah. actually. You come to think about it, that uh, you know it actually elevates your level of play. All right, we have a timeout for PCU. Okay. Coach Reagan Espera. As now, we have a comment that says the Kasnon Eugene Grabe from Lurking underscore Archer, also from Hail Hail Green. Wala si Layog sa lineup ng Green Spikers. Mukha nga. <laughs> Why don't we ask Apple about that later on? As there's another comment from Lumot Things, also supporting the Green Spikers. Happy with their nice start. It's an attack error from PCU. So Echo Oil DLSU is now two points away from grabbing set number one. They haven't lost the set so far in our Invitational Conference. The opposite has happened for PCU. They haven't won a set. Ball way up high. Ooh, that was a quick attack. PCU on the combination. Nice net defense by LaSalle. Sagun puts it up. Agatep going cross. Redwell. Ooh, and Karnason definitely touched the net. Crossed and uh, touched the net over there. Those are the types of moments kung saan kakabahan ka na eh, over oh. the players. Of course, we would not want any injuries to happen in this league. 15, serving 23. PCU down by 8. That's another error. There are uh, now 12 errors for uh, PCU in this set. So 12 out of the 24, no, yeah. na ipamigay nilang puntos for uh, DLSU. They have almost the same number of errors to their points. It's now a two-man sub, a double sub for the white shirts. Alfilair has returned. Same goes for De La Cruz. Now serving is the crowd favorite in Vaughn Marata. Strong serve at that. Here's De La Cruz on the approach. Young Mendoza puts it up, bat it oh. at the net, and it's won by PCU. Smart return there by Agatep. Although Coach Reagan did mention uh, he wants to see more attackers come alive no, from PCU. Let's see though if Agatep can get some support come the second set. Or maybe here if they pull off a comeback. Strong hit, ball dug up, but straight outside. Good. Play there by uh, PCU. Maybe a bit too late though. We may say that because uh, DLSU is just one point away from closing this set. But at the very least, I think for PCU, what they need to work on is the score. Nila. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should be flawless from this point on. Ooh. But uh, <laughs> Sorry, look at folks. the effort. Yeah, Ondra went straight to. Andre Mulyakanda, oh, are you okay? Oh, gusto nating sumali dun sa laro eh, no? <laughs> Yung pawis niya, nandito na sa notes oh, natin. Oh, <laughs> na. But you know, that's such good effort on their end to keep the ball alive. Because look at where we are now. Napailag tuloy si Migs eh. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Ron, by the way, who protected us yes. with, with his whole life there. <laughs> it's now 24 to 18. Young Mendoza, tough dig. There's the chase for PCU, attack from the opposite. Ball up by Guerrero, Encarnacion to the quick, and it's JJ Rodriguez who will end set number one. So this is basically the same score, no, for PCU against Philippine Air Force. They scored 18 in set number one, and unfortunately they lose it to uh, the LSU here in their second game. Still the beginning, folks. A long way to go.
Set number one belongs to DLSU Echo Oil against PCU Saskin with a score reading 25 to 18. A bit like what happened in the first game of PCU versus Air Force. Now we saw a variety of attacks no, from DLSU in that set number one and they were led by JJ Rodriguez who was also responsible for ending our first set. And uh, if we look at uh, how both teams played in uh, that last set, we uh, did mention how DLSU actually took uh, an earlier lead. There were a lot of errors uh, that we've seen from uh, PCU, but uh, medyo diesel din itong PCU. Yeah. You know, at the latter part, that's when they started to uh, uh, give DLSU a harder time. And looking at the numbers, what is, I guess, good no, if you're rooting for, PC, uh, for PCU is that hindi sila huling huli no, pagdating sa open sites. 11 points for DLSU as opposed to 10 for uh, PCU. Saan lumamang ang Lasal was actually their net defense. They mm -hmm. scored three points uh, from that. But uh, we also saw some good uh, blocks on the side of uh, PCU. But what really made it more challenging for PCU in the first set would be their opponent's errors. So I, I stand corrected. They have 11 errors in that uh, first set, not 12. Uh, meron namang pito na naipamigay ang DLSU. But that was quite a lot of giveaways. Yeah. A double digit in just one set. 11 out of 25, that's more than 40% of the points given to Lasal. Agatep attacks again. Ball sent back by Lasal. From the back, that's Ondra. It's just long. It looks like uh, PCU will be challenging here. Whether or not someone touched the net. It was Ivan De La Cruz who went straight to his head coach for that challenge. Nakaranas ka ba ng challenge system? Not anymore. You just teach me mix out with that question. Reset <laughs> <laughs> na lang yan eh. Yeah, bago lang kasi talaga oh, eh. Bago lang siya. Because oh. I'm just really curious as to, uh, you know, how it is like for a coach and a player when it comes to trusting each other in mm. these challenges. May timing din ba kaya yung mga yan dahil limited lang naman yung challenges mo in a set. I, I personally think it's a good addition no, to, mm -hmm. to how the game is played. Because even that, you're right, no, even calling these challenges is also a bit of a strategy. Mm -hmm. no? when, when do you make these calls? When do you say, oh, sige, let's challenge it as we look at that uh, replay? Is it yung net? Parang wala. It, it seemed very clean. Oh. Okay. No touch. So that's good net defense by JJ Rodriguez. Who, by the way, is the younger brother of Seth Rodriguez. Big shout out to her. Seth uh, currently plays in the PVL for Cherry Tigo. Actually, yung coach niya, assistant coach ng Lasal, si Aaron Velez, has now it's a strong hit from Agatep again. I'm sure PCU will take that slide from Mr. Agatep. But is this a growing concern for you? Do you want to see more attackers on the white shirts? Oh, definitely. Uh, we did mention earlier, nakakasabay naman eh. If we talk about offense, they scored 10, DLSU had 11, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. You know, they definitely need more than that, most especially if it gets offset by the errors mm -hmm. that they're committing. And with attacks like that, coming from young Mendoza, definitely you're going to need to do more. And you know, aside from just racking those points in no, with offense, iba rin yung confidence na nabibigay sa'yo if you get a lot of good kills. Yes. Especially the ones na yung malakasan yung palo. Uh -oh. Ibang satisfaction ka mag drop <laughs> na utakan ko to, but if, if iba yung confidence eh, na nabibigay yes. talaga ng offense ang malakas. Wow, that's a strong hit by Gloria scoring off of the block. Now, you mentioned confidence twice already. In this, in this game. So I want you to compare the confidence that you get from a baon of a kill compared to a kill block. What's better? I think it would vary depending on uh, depending kung sino yung player. But the satisfaction ah. kasi of blocking, may pagbabasang nangyayari dyan. Okay. And, uh, yung iba eh, na naibalik mo, but also offense. I, I think both. Both, but it depends <laughs> on the situation. No? Well, that's the perfect answer. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Han. It's hard because of course, I'd enjoy both. Oh, both oh. will be points, right? Yeah, galingan mo na lang on both galingan aspects. Galingan mo na lang on both. Gloria again, he's met at the net. Tough defense there by Guerrero. Ooh. The coverage. At regalo yan para kay JJ.
It's interesting though because JJ actually plays the same position as Seth. Both of them are middle blockers. I wonder if they actually learn from each other or if they actually train together maybe. Interesting to know <laughs> and interesting to find out. Yeah. Sila yung mga nagsaspike receive sa labas ng bahay. Oo, tama. It's a service error from Young Mendoza. That's the second point of PCU Saskin here in set number two. Again, PCU is still looking for its first set victory in our Invitational Conference. And you'd want to start piling up your wins by now because even though we have 24 teams, they're divided into pools. So limited din yung action na magita natin per squad. Push there by DLSU. Bit of a scramble from PCU. And on the scores. That also gives a different uh, feeling of satisfaction. Yung nakapagpalusot ka sa yeah. blockers. Get that point here for a PCU. Nang alanganin yung position oh, mo. Oh, alanganin. Back to the service line with a small middle blocker for PCU. That's Sean Lara. Back set. Nice play by Lasal. From uh, the opposite. You know, you did mention earlier you know, how crucial it is for all of the teams. You're right, 24 teams. Uh, we have four pools in the preliminaries, but only the top two mm -hmm. from uh, each pool would get to cross over. So in, in this case, for Pool B, no, dalawa lang yung uh, makakatapat din ang top two from Pool A. Kapag top two, usually isang talo pa lang kakabahan ka rin, no? Oh, oh. That's a kill block by DLSU. Let's see what happened there. And you see the cheer, huh? how loud the cheer is on the sideline. Look at that. Roofed is what yeah. they would call it. Talagang napayungan. It was a good read from LaSalle. That's Eugene Gloria, the rookie from NU. Who's not play playing like a rookie here in the Spiker stir. Oh, blocking at its finest here for DLSU. No ball. Passing through. Boy, that wall is very lengthy in Ventura <laughs> and <laughs> Del Pilar. I'm sure si BJ Anima is very proud of those two. BJ actually was sitting beside Jules De Jesus a while ago. He was their starting middle blocker last year in season 85. Oh, what a dig by Young. That's a setup to Gloria again. And Eugene scores. Oh, now something's coming up in my mind. I'm going to bring it up later after this break. Volleyball action continues here on the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference. Now, in PCU Dasma's last game, there were four successful challenges against David Ondra. A lot of unforced errors, and some of those actually could have won them a set already. A huge lesson learned for David, and a reminder to keep calm and composed, especially on the crucial parts of the set. And now to our fans are watching via the Filipinas Live app, join in the conversation and answer our poll question, which Libero will have more digs, JP Sagun or Menard Guerrero. Don't forget our hashtag SpikersTurf2023. Mix and end. Thank you, Apple. That's certainly very crucial. Talking about the composure at the latter part of the set no, for PCU. If you're saying that diesel nga sila, no, abagal na magsimula, then that means they have no choice but to end strong. So much, uh, but it kind of puts pressure in their end game, mm -hmm. like how they end a uh, set. Uh, but, you know, that last play, that quick set worked for PCU. So, siguro, yun yung kailangan nilang trabahuhin. But before that, how to stop first, no? The <laughs> yeah. offense of DLSU. Again, folks, we were seeing uh, a lot of the second unit of LaSalle being displayed 
in the spiker surf which brings me back to my thought before going into the break no i wonder what's going through the minds of uh jm bronquillo vince maglinaw and noel campton may all think about kaya rin yan na uh, mukha bang maagawan ako ng minuto on the floor may ganun din kaya dyan alam mo Human nature, and this is me speaking very candidly, of course, no, that kind of, uh, I guess, in kahit kaninong player, it kind of uh, uh, gives you a bit of pressure. Nako, ganda ng pinapakita nila. Oh. But I think overall, what th this does for the team, no, it gives the reserve players a lot of exposure. Yes. And it makes them more lethal when they get into the other leagues. Pag balik mm -hmm. nila, no matter who you pick from the bench, yeah. alam mo na magde-deliver. Because equally, yun yung nangyayari minsan, eh, diba? the reserve really gets less playing time. So, ang dami ring pressure pag pinasok mm -hmm. ka. But in, 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 with this kind of exposure, it allows them to get used to yung init ng paglalaro, right. yung pressure, ha, paano humabol. And they're going to need these guys to step up in the mm. UAAP as well, as now it's a service error off of the attack no, by David Onra. Just unfortunate for him. I do want to quote Vince Maglino, though. He said, the best asset of this DLSU squad this year is the fact that they have a healthy competition. So, ginaganahan lahat na mag-improve. Dahil nakita nila na nag improve yung teammates nila. This is ano, yung, yung legitimate ano, that you earn your spot. Of yes. course, every player, you, you must know that uh, to get a slot in the starting um, rotation, the starting lineup, pagtatrabahuhan mo talaga yeah. yan. Pero sa ngayon, mukhang kailangan din magtrabaho ng PCU as they're down by five points in set two. There's the serve by Alvior. That's another error at the line. You did mention they had 11 errors scored by LaSalle in set number one, which basically was the biggest difference. Del Pilar putting it in, ball up, back row hit, Ondra reaching the corner. He's, uh, Ondra has only scored two points actually in the first set. So, dito sa second set, there's, uh, of course, a lot of expectations as well, ano, to score more points para dito sa uh, young talent na ito. Ooh, that's a one-two by Fox Paquita. It's outsmarting the defense of PCU. Saving uh, the energy of uh, his teammates. Sabi niya, kaya naman mag-score on uh, oh. the second ball. Pero hindi normal yung second ball na papunta sa dulo, yung... no? Usually gitna, di ba? Such a strong, or near the net, oh. Yeah, near the net. Yan. Or sa gitna, yes. Oh, so much force in that uh, point. It's another point for DLSU Echo Oil. Great net defense again by the Green Shirts. Pokita serving. Libero gets the first ball. This received, though. Guerrero puts it up. Back row hit. That's Eugene Gloria again. You gotta appreciate also no, the distribution of sets here on the side of DLSU. So that, that means we have to give a shout out to Pox Paquita for what he has done. He, after all, was their backup setter in season 85. So, uh, Gumraduit na nga, no? Ang kanilang main setter na si Paul Serrano. Now he's gonna get more of the minutes. Agatep on the other end, that's outside. Too long, probably avoiding eh, the blockers of DLSU. Six block points na ang uh, DLSU. Second technical timeout, the score reads 16 to 7. Father figure. Diyadala niya yung pagiging father niya sa court. 
Um, binibigyan niya kami ng mga good advice. Kahit may ginagawa kaming mali or what, sasabihin niya sa amin, mali yan. Tapos pag may ginagawa kaming tama, sasabihin niya tama. So, sobrang father, father figure ko talaga si coach ko. And there you see Noel Campton at the sideline. Still not seeing action in the Spiker Surf, but his team is looking good. Watch the Spiker Surf live in HD and on demand via Filipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. 16 to 7. Agatep, strong hit on the cross. Much needed point here for PCU. But it's really him, though. No? He's the guy. He is with nine points already for this game. Ondra's had his moments, but really more of Agat Agatep in this match. As there's a point again for DLSU. But, you know, I think that is the difference between how PCU and uh, DLSU is playing right now. For DLSU, we did mention, no? si Pukita, pinaiikot niya talaga. Yeah. Eh. Most of them would get... Uh, uh, a set, kaya well distributed. Actually, if you look at the the score, but on the side of PCU, they're heavily heavily reliant on uh, Agatep. So, kailangan nung iba pa to really step up. There's a variety again, as Gloria got the set from Pokita, and there's a net touch from PCU. It's now a 10 point lead. It's uh, gotta be painful. You have a timeout. You see the violation. magagawa ko ayaw niya naman maglaro na maayo ha puro natin error eh nakakapuntos ba kalaban error lang natin kanina pa yan hindi natin ma-minimize diba nagkakanya-kanya kayo sa loob tulungan tayo maglaro kayo na maayo ganun lang naman diba nag-e-entire naman tayo eh gawin natin dyan go in the words of Carlo Agatep his favorite aspects about Coach Reagan Espera are the facts that he is mabait and maluwag. Unfortunately, when you're down like this in double digits, siyempre lalabas na yung pagiging stricto ng head coach mo, no? As we see another comment from Leia VLLSN17, lakas ng green spikers, tuloy-tuloy lang, hashtag Spikerster2023. Marami-raming fans, no? Ang uh, DLSU. We did mention how they uh, are seen to be the early favorites uh, here, but uh, also this lead is uh, also quite convincing. A good uh, showing here for DLSU. Meanwhile, yun nga, no, babalik tayo sa PCU. They've uh, really been challenged. Hindi lang to yung pumupuntos ang lasal sa kanila. They, there's been a lot of uh, errors really na nangyayari no, on, on their side. Lots of wasted points so far. It's Young Mendoza serving, bola by Delibero. Quick attack, tough floor defense there by Eko Oe. Gloria tried to go at the middle. Battle at the net, great joust. Ball up. Another chance for Lasal. Rodriguez, someone oh. made a violation. A lifting by uh, a violation, yeah, and Poquito, and he knows, eh, Poquita knows it. Uh, apologizing for that, but they do have a comfortable lead at this point. It is 10 points. I, I think it's the opposite of what we can say, no, para sa PCU. Ang, what we had expected is that Diesel, paakyat yeah. ng paakyat yung laro, but uh, this second set has been challenging for them, but lucky as well. Yeah, Ventura read the ball not so well there, mm -hmm. as the ball went back to his side. And so, PCU will be serving. Courtesy of Ompong Monforte coming off the bench in this game. That's another service error. I think sinasabi a lot of uh, wasted points here on the side of uh, PCU. Just easy giveaways for LaSalle. We have Andre Espejo, who is not in any way related to Mark Espejo, <laughs> who will now be serving. You know, una kung tanong kay Vince kanina uh, eh. <laughs> He must get that question a lot. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 what a serve. And here comes PCU. Tough net defense there. Ball crossed by 
Mendoza, attack from the opposite. A chance now for Echo Oil. They go to Del Pilar. Libero puts it up. De La Cruz. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. could not get to it anymore. Oh, hey, ne, ganda na ng serve niya. Oh, ganda na. Actually, alam mo, papunta siya dun eh. Kaya lang, kabilang kamay yung pinang-abot yeah. niya eh. Wait, was he wearing the jersey number 15? Did I get that right? No, jersey number 10. Okay sana, no? Kung 15 yun. <laughs> Mas lalo tayo magdududa. <laughs> but you, alam mo, I wonder, no? So, he must get that question a lot. May pressure din siguro oh, yung yeah. expectations. For sure. As Gloria scores again. Now, double sub. Getting ready to check in. It's Encarnacion and... The set one favorite of the LSU in Von Marata. Pero ngayon parang si Espejo tahimik. na yung favorite, uh, no? <laughs> Iba-iba, tahimik kayo sa pagpasok ni uh, Marata. They uh, need four points, the LSU. We're talking about the LSU to close out this set. On the other hand, itong PCU, the expectation is still there. Ano? Yeah. Nakakahabol sila na makadikit. That is what we have seen in, in the way that they have played. So let's see if they can break this uh, um, pattern. Back set. To Marata. Did he score off the block? Yes, he did. Need some adjustment here on the side of a PCU. Right on cue. Timeout ngayon. Ang Dolphins. Hindi mo tayo naghahanap eh, di ba? Bauna nga tayo. Nagpapabawang pa tayo lalo. Ha? Ang atay na konti. Kaya naman, di ba? Di ba natin kaya? Laban naman, laban! Ay, push, push. Tarap up. Go, say, say, it's you. Goodbye. Well, they definitely are going to need a lot of good vibes right now. Itong PCU Saskin facing their biggest deficit of 11. Sorry? Uh, in nga sinabi ni coach, nababaon na nga sila, but they aren't doing anything about it at this point. So they get uh, deeper and deeper into this deficit, the harder it will get yeah. for them to uh, recover. And this totally breaks the pattern of PCU playing better and better as the game goes by since their previous outing. Chance now for LaSalle, they go to Del Pilar and he towers through. Keeping it simple, Del Pilar with that... Uh, Drop. More of a dunk. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did mention that Del Pilar is the tallest player on the court for both teams. As now, it's Encarnacion who serves. Straight to Peralta there. There's the attack that goes outside. Another point for LaSalle. It feels like uh, PCU has given up on, on this set. The, the body language that you see, it's not as uh, convincing. Ano? Nung first set, kasi kahit natalo sila, you saw them give it a good fight yeah. till the very end. But here, it's a bit slow, a bit subdued as well. And it's pure domination from the other side as the LSU gets another clear block. You see what happened there. It's... Eugene Gloria, he jumps really high. Yeah? Almost the same height as Nat Del Pilar there on his elevation. So the score in set number two is 25 to 11.
We're back inside the Paco Arena in Manila for DLSU Echo Oil and PCU Saskin. It's now two sets to none in favor of the green shirts in this game. And the storyline has now been broken for PCU in terms of them being able to play better as we go through the sets of each match. No? Would you attribute that to them playing, uh, should we say, worse in set number two? Or did LaSalle actually just play a lot better? You know, I think it works both ways because LaSalle did shuffle their players. They had very good showing and we saw that even off the bench, they had contribution yung kanila mga players. But I think for PCU, as we take a look at the stats, here's where we'll see the difference. No? Offense kanina nakasabay sila. 12 ngayon ng LaSalle, 8 ngayon sa PCU. But the blocking is, is, is something that was also very crucial. Net defense pa lang ng LaSalle, nahirapan na itong uh, PCU pumuntos. But more than that, the story is quite consistent. Because if you look at the opponent's errors, 9 giveaway points yeah. in this set. And if you come to think about it, this is giving away more than what they had actually scored when it comes to attacks. Right. So 9 points giveaway, walo lang yun na ipuntos. Sila negative pa. So I think going into the third set, the body language has to change. Yes. I think they need to shift it a little bit. I don't feel like there's so much pressure, siguro, mm -hmm. on, on their side. Medyo mabagal lang, bumagal lang konti yung kanilang kilos in uh, the second set. If I can dive a bit deeper into the errors, though. They had 11 errors in set one and nine in set number two. So that means 20 out of the 50 points given, that's 40%, are coming off of errors from PCU. And now I want to talk about the efficiency of LaSalle. With you only having two errors in a set, is that mighty impressive? I think it is. It is, yes, because they were able to minimize and we saw that most of the points, of course, apart from those given away from errors, so most have been earned. Mm. So it, it, it goes to show that in a way, kumbaga malinis yung kanilang uh, naigalaw or nailaro. No? There, there were even uh, yung mga forced error from the opponent was very, very minimal. And if we look at uh, specific skill departments, so pagdating sa attacks, PCU had quite some attempts. But so far in this match, 16 attack forts as opposed to only four of LaSalle. So wow. malayo talaga, there's a huge discrepancy. And you asked earlier the pressure about serving kung pareho ba yan. For DLSU, they had three service errors. PCU so far has seven. So quite quite a few things to work on, we, we should say, no, for uh, PCU. And now it's... Pox Pokita with eight excellent sets, serving, ball up by PCU, quick attack, that's by Lara again, his ball was returned, Peralta tried to score, unfortunately he hit the antenna. And just like that, Agatep has to return for PCU. Agatep, nine points. In this match, followed by Honda with five, Alvior with three, Lara with one point. Uh, more uh, distribution, we'd say, no, for DLSU. Rodriguez with seven, Ventura with seven, Mendoza with four, but Gloria. Yeah. Surges with nine points, seven, galing to the second set. Again, this is his shining moment in our Spikers Turf tournament with Jules De Jesus out for this game, but there's the shining moment on the other end for Ondra as he attacks from the middle. Eugene Gloria, as per Apple David, had a strain injury last week. And now he's the top scorer of LaSalle, just like that. It, uh, he was uh, able to shake it off right away, or yeah. it's good, actually. It's good news. It means it is not any That's serious, serious injury. Yeah. Yes. Of course, we're still very early in his career, diba? You want them as healthy and as strong as they can be. There's a push by Ventura, ball up by the Libero, and an attack from the back by Ondra. Much, much needed energy. This is a rare lead for PCU Saskin. And this is what probably you know, the PCU fans are looking for. Yung ganito yeah. umpisa for uh, PCU. You sort of strong, sort of aggressive. I'd like you to, again, observe the body language of PCU as they attack and they score again. This is what we didn't see, what we didn't hear in the first two sets. Uh, great <laughs> celebration, great energy. And this is nothing fancy huh, when it comes to the plays that they are executing. And what I like about it, Beyond that point of Ivan de la Cruz is the celebration of the libero na si Adi Gavido. Rumarampana ng onte, no? 
which is a testament to them gaining their confidence here in set number three. But they're going to have to take care of their lead as the Sal is now trying to tie things up. There's Adi Gabrido. Yoyong Mendoza. Straight to Ondra. Set up for De La Cruz. Coverage. Ayun, may kembut pa mula kay Gabrido. Attack from the back. It's just long from Ondra. <laughs> uh, it's good to see them. At least you know, in terms of uh, body language, very different from uh, the first two sets. So they probably have shaken it off, yung kanilang talo in the first two yeah. sets. We, we do have a uh, ton of these liberos, no? Na ganyan yung character. branding nila. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Sana magtapat yung mga libero natin na yun. <laughs> Kasi dati, open spikers ang ini-expect mong makakapag-celebrate ng ganun. Ngayon, may libero na rin. As, unfortunately, PCU was blocked in that previous sequence. So just like that, Lasal regains the lead. It's three straight points for them. Yoyo Mendoza back at the line. His first year playing for the Green Shirts. Ball up by Ondra. Attack from the middle by Lara. The other end. It's Gloria again. Ball kept alive. Chance for Echo Oil. Libero sets it up for Ventura. Recovery for PCU. And here comes PCU again. Pokita puts it up. Ventura, this is the longest rally of our match so far. Oh, oh De Castro just made a major mistake as he tried to score. He, he knew it. Look at the coaching staff. <laughs> said, oh, to, at least he's not galit. He's not galit. Okay, lang. Di, hindi ako ni coach. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to coaches Arnold Lanyog and. Uh, Coach Jewel Asia as well. That attack was met at the net, but the ball went outside, so it's a point for La Salle. Ventura, the son of Michelle Datuin. Michelle yes, Datuin. From uh, DLSU. Showing some signs of uh, the style of play of his mother. There's the setup to the middle. Isa lang yung kulang pala, yung attitude. attitude. Because the twin had the attitude. Tahimik, tahimik yeah. siya. <laughs> Ventura is uh, no, rather quiet. Yeah, no? he that, is. That is the difference. Mukhang na, na disiplina ng kanyang nanay, no? Hindi <laughs> 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 ka pwede mag-attitude. Ako lang ang pwede mag-attitude. That's me. <laughs> Eugene Gloria with another point. He continues to be the highest scorer of La Salle. Strong serve by Espejo. Ooh. Pero talagang palo talaga siya, no? From his palo, but, service. Uh, not uh, successful that time. One thing, uh, accuracy when it comes to, uh, no? but had it gone in, I'm pretty sure mahirap yun na uh, uh, receive But that's an Espejo on brand, no? Baka yung ganong ano, klaseng serve. Kailangan ganun din yung <laughs> laka, malakas ang serve. We have another point for La Salle that sends us to our first technical timeout in set number three. Welcome back to the Spiker Surf Invitational Conference. Uh, Coach Joe Roque shared how he is satisfied in a way in the team's performance last game and even in the first two sets of this game, but mentioned how the players have not met the expectations yet. The goal is to get to a level of play where they can provide what the main starters can to keep on playing well and have that luxury of more time for the key players to have more rest. The target, according to Coach Joe, is for the players like Camton, Maglina, Ronquillo to be back around quarterfinals now. Back to the panel. Wow! Pang playoffs wow. yung star oh, players ng La Sala. Nice report, Apple. 
Um, well, that's what you want to hear. And that is why you have your second and third units on the floor as you get to take a look at your former... Uh, yeah, former teammate, uh, Michelle uh, Datuin, Camber now, uh, watching uh, her son. Her very soft-spoken son. Oh, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> There's a running hit by Del Pilar. Now, as opposed to what Apple was pertaining to, no, their bench players coming in. Ito si Del Pilar, starter talaga yan mm -hmm. ng Lasal. Yes. Importante ba na meron ka pa starters on the floor? I, I think in this case, ano, it would depend kasi what position they also play. But having a starter in there also helps, I guess, organize the team. Or uh, ito yung uh, sinasabi natin minsan, no, may nagkikerry ng load konte in the sense na leadership. Yeah. I mean, leadership is, is still necessary. You get the team together, you organize how they are on the floor. There uh, should be someone who's vocal. Uh, and is there also an argument for chemistry? Because, of course, come maybe the playoffs. Definitely. But, uh, you know, I Ooh. guess, hindi na bago ng bago dito sa mga players na ito because they, they are training together. Right. Um, uh, but what this does, no, what this elimination does as we look at uh, this replay, regalo niya, what this does is sinasanay sila. The, of course, masasanay mo lang yan the more you get to do it in an actual game. Yes. And that's a huge benefit for uh, this lineup. It's now a service error for Rui Ventura. It happened in front of his mom. Medyo nakita ko yung reaction ni, ni mommy dun, no? A, oh, bi a bit of disappointment. Pero onti lang naman. Onti lang. Tsaka lulukoy ko nga siya, mommy. Ang quiet natin manood. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's changed. <laughs> Very uh, quiet. Oh, I, I want to hear that conversation <laughs> between you and your former teammate. As now, there's the approach Ooh. by Ondra. We need more of that on the side of a PCU. I tell you this. And the, the last time that I covered a guy who teamed up with Ish Polvorosa on another league, na bata yung guy na yun, ha? And who is now, you know, getting a, a taste of the national stage? That guy was Jay Disquitado. Oh, Disquitado. Yeah. Because Disquitado was recruited to the PNVF Champions League by Ish Polvorosa. That's a team named Global Remit. Now, before Jade actually made his way to the Spikers turf, so bumuelo na siya dun sa ligang yun. I wonder if Onra also learned a lot from Ish that gave him enough confidence to play on this level. As uh, the LSU scores that point, no defense or no coverage there. But as a PCU... Gloria has variety. Seems to be like that. Gotta be uh, smart there at the net. Ball close to the net. Onra again. He has that elevation. Set to the open. Great net defense by PCU. Much needed point. Hopefully that uh, gives them confidence. Hindi malayong lamang. Just a two-point lead here for uh, DLSU. We are on the third set, so quite crucial, no? Para yeah. dito sa PCU. And now, Apple did talk about their composure. That they would need to implement again at the latter part of the set. Now, they just gave another service error. That's been the theme of this day for PCU. They seem to have not addressed that, uh, you know, that issue at the service line. Kung mahaba-haba yung service portion ng kanilang training next time. <laughs> As PCU scores, it's now 13 to 11. This actually matches PCU Saskin's point total in set number two. See what happened there. Double touch. Mm. Actually, he's not going to be able to get it. He's not Good for Young to recognize that. 11 serving 13 and set number 3. Pokita chases. Tough angle here. He's not going to be able Coming from a short first ball, Pokita unable to set it properly. Sayang, ito naman yung mga errors ngayon nangyayari sa DLSU. But something for PCU to capitalize on. No? Sayang tong pagkakataon. So hopefully, from this serve, they could get a good uh, play later on. Ventura 
His attack is low, and now we're tied at 13. Remember, at some point in the set, PCU actually grabbed the lead. Uh, definitely a much better start para sa PCU. Here in the third set, now they are tied, Migs. And uh, yun nga yung sinasabi natin, no? errors lang talaga yung nagpapahirap sa kanila yeah. kanina. So if they can control that, minimize that. 13 all service for Mo Ilara. Tough dig there, straight to the stands. I like the fan there. Ready na siyang ano eh. Mag, <laughs> to get into the action. Oh, oh. Siya na yung magdidig pabalik eh. <laughs> I hope the ball goes to your former teammate. <laughs> Let's see what she will Let's do. Let's see what uh, she will do. Uh, niya anak niya. Uh, so protect muna. Yeah. Protect the anak. 14 to 13. Good first ball here for PCU. There's Ooh. a running hit. It was long for Ondra. Oh, sayang. It seemed like a good play. No? Coming from a good first ball. Maganda yung back set. But uh, Ondra, poor execution. Though, in this uh, third set mix, no, the tables have turned in the sense that it is the LSU that has seven errors, while uh, PCU has uh, three so far. That's after only having two errors in set number two for LaSalle. As Agatep scores off of the block. Interesting, no, na si Agatep, wing spiker nila. At maliliit yung kanilang middle blockers. But uh, I guess for this, they're uh, gunning for uh, yung porcento talaga, yeah. no, for... Uh, the outside hitter. Open hit there. Ball deflected. Agate puts it up. There's the chase by Lara. Behind to De La Cruz. And that's a point for Ivan. That seemed to be a low set na ginawa ng paraan. But good point here for PCU. While DLSU trying to regroup, they are probably finding themselves in a position they didn't expect here in third set. Na sila yung hahabol. Right. What a set number three, tied at 15, the fifth deadlock in this set. Ventura soaring and flying for that point, and he will send us to our second technical timeout. Setter po si Jeff Torres po. And yung open spiker si Ryan Bagunas and Mike Espejo. Middle blocker si Malabunga and si JB Bugao po. Sa opposite, pwede po siguro si Marasigan po. Idol ko rin po. Ang libero po siguro si Sandy Montero po. You have to love the respect that these young guns have for our uh, veterans in Philippine men's volleyball. By the way, folks, watch the Spikers Turf live in HD and on demand via Filipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via filipinaslive.com. Pokita will set up Eugene again. Ooh, what make a sound stare, down. stare down. <laughs> From the rookie himself. That's really like smile fierce, after all. <laughs> I want to see that face. Because also, you know that feeling, diba? Na napalusutan mo ng bola, but after naman tumawa siya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the worst of celebrations. Yep. 17 to 15. Ooh. Ooh, that's low for Young. BCU is very much alive here in set number three. Again, they haven't won a set so far in our invitational conference. While LaSalle has it lost the set. 16, serving 17. Sean Lara, the middle blocker. Pokita to the open again. Ball up by Lara. The other Lara also put it up. And here comes Pokita to the quick. That's Espejo who scores.
see what happened here. Coming from a good first ball. Again, the variety of plays that we see here on the side of uh, DLSU. There's the jump serve by Andre Espejo. Combination. Ooh. Ooh, tough dig for Poquita. Attack from the back. Ball put up by De La Cruz. Lara. Back set. Ball sent back. Minangat ulit. Oh. Nice approach from the back. That's by Ondra. Much better game we are seeing from PCU here in the third set. That's against the outstretched arms of Nat Del Pilar. Great hit by David Lara. Sorry, David Ondra. That's another service error. They've minimized here in the set. Pero ito yung mga sayang pa rin, no? Sayang na opportunities for PCU, especially there at the service line. I want to see how many errors they committed last time. At 24 in three sets. So, mas marami na to. I think so, because earlier we were already at 20, no? Yeah. For, for two sets, including this set. Unofficial count, I will, earlier, no? 22. So, we'll, we'll check later how many. Right now, it is 20 serving 17. Rui Ventura looking to end things in straight sets to enjoy his Sunday with his mom and the rest of his family. De La Cruz, the antenna got hit. So, that's a point for Echo Oil. At tawag na timeout, si Coach Reagan. Okay, na hindi kita na tayo, nag-rally na tayo eh. Huwag nyo napatayin, huwag yung momentum natin, papatayin yung momentum ng ano, di ba? Dapat yung momentum ng kabilang papatayin, hindi momentum natin, di ba? Huwag tayo mag-error. Mga unforced error. Hindi natin natin yung bola. I-error natin. Atake natin yan dapat. There you have it. That's basically the storyline of this match. They should be attacking. Instead, they're giving up errors itong PCU. There's another comment. Ang ganda ng net at floor defense ng green spikers. Naiiyak ako, boom. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta love the emotions of our fans watching online. 21-17. Pokita sending it across. Ball up. A chance again for Lasal. Guerrero digging it. Combination. Oh my goodness. Where did that come from? Convincing, uh, very convincing point here, Gloria. Absolutely no fear of blockers. And that's uh, challenging the libero of PCU. It was so fast. Eh? Ang bilis ng pagsak uh, yeah. ng bola. <laughs> Nakita mo yung reaction ni uh, Di Gabrido. May, ano, may finesse pa rin naman yung kanyang reaction. Oh. But obviously, he couldn't do anything anymore. There seems to be a, a yellow card given. Yeah. <laughs> Eugene Gloria has been messing with, uh, uh, with PCU today. Taunting them. You, you see the, the stare down and the... Means well, sabi niya. Apologize. Yeah. <laughs> no, smiling, smiling face lang ngayon. Uh, no? Oh, that's what you have to learn, rookie. But still, he's a very promising talent. He might actually get Rookie of the Year honors, maybe in the UAP. Rui Ventura now serving. That is in. Ooh. Oh, Michelle did not see it. <laughs> Sayang. And right now, our top scorers for DLSU, uh, Ventura and uh, Gloria, both with 13 points. Yeah. Giving Anne a hard time, choosing the best player. <laughs> Let's listen in. Twenty-three to seventeen. Send help to Andre Mulya Kanda <laughs> because she's Very having tough. a tough time. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, this is um, you know such a great problem also for DLSU. Yeah. I mean, looking at the, the youngsters, no, all. Uh, um, very good overall performance. Again, wala pang JM Ronquillo, Vince Maglinao, at Noel Campton in this conference for La Salle. They've been resting out. 
the same time, they've been giving this opportunity for their second unit players to step up. Wala rin si Jules De Jesus, as reported by Apple David. And uh, we have here our uh, youngsters really playing the part. Gloria, 13 points, 11 attacks, 2 block. Ventura, good overall performance. 13 points, 8 attacks, 4 blocks, 1 ace. And that's why Ant's been having a hard time. Yeah. As now it's a point for PCU. So at least there's the fight coming from the white shirts. And that's what we need at this point for, of course, for all those supporting PCU. What you would like to see, you know, is, is that improvement, that fight in them. Na hindi nila ibibigay lang to basta basta sa lasal. 19 to 23, Poquita back sets. Ventura, he stepped at the line. Window for a PCU. Not yet over. 20 serving 23. This is reminiscent of what happened to BCU versus Air Force in set 3 as well. 1-2 did not work there. De La Cruz goes to Ondra. Ball sent back. Set up by Lara. There's the cross by Ondra. A chase. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> Big shout out to De Castro for doing his best there. That's Jonathan De Castro. Yeah, he had to step in because Waki Javier is also out. Kasama siya ni Jules no sa kanilang retreat last week. Pokita going to the open and that's outside for Eugene Gloria. Mahirap kay Gloria yung walang stare down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So now it's 22 serving 23. PCU looking good, but can they actually pull off a set win? They haven't won a set so far in this conference. Service for Ivan. Pokita goes back to Eugene. Bawi naman siya. You know, this might be PCU's chance, but uh, sa ngayon, no, things are uh, looking very steady here on the side of VLSU. It's two match points for Echo Oil. 24 serving 22. Eugene Gloria to end things. Ball up. There's a quick attack. Gloria puts it up. Pokita, Yoyong. And that's it. It's another straight set win for DLSU Echo Oil. It's Yoyong Mendoza scoring the last point. That's just a testament to the depth of La Salle. This is supposedly their second unit. But they just gave us another dominating performance. Definitely. Uh, for PCU, it was a slow first two sets, but uh, some redemption. Siguro, we can say, no, seen in the third set, just not enough uh, to at least snatch that set against uh, DLSU. I see them still smiling as uh, they congratulate each other. Well, we do say it a lot, no, for the new teams in the Spikers Turf. This is their growing experience. This is a chance for them to level themselves with the best talents in the whole of the Philippines. And there you see our final score. We'll be back to wrap this game up. It is the DLSU Echo Oil winning in straight sets. And I have with uh, me our player of the game, Rui Ventura. Rui, back-to-back -back really good games for you. Last game, you had 15 points. Today, you had 13 points on eight attacks, four blocks, and one ace. And you're really showing na itong opportunity to be part of the starters na binigay sa'yo and na deserve mo siya. Um, yung, ano lang po, bali yung, tinatake advantage ko lang yung tiwala sa akin ng teammates ko. 
na alam nila na kaya kong mag-perform din the same as the starters dahil nga nagpapahinga sila ngayon and um, yung thankful lang po kasi yung game plan namin is nag-work talaga kung ano yung tinuro sa amin ni coach napapakita namin sa game at uh, ayun po uh, palaging ano lang mahinga lang kami sa court yun yung pagkabuhay lang is tumutulong sa pagkalaro namin Two wins to start the conference uh, for your team. Ano yung pinaka nakakatulong? What's been really working for you guys to get this straight sets, convincing victories? Uh, para sa akin po is yung communication talaga namin. Like yung kanina sa third set, nahabol kami. Tapos yun, nag-gather kami sa gitna. Uh, sabi namin, nakakalma lang. Isa-isa lang yung puntos. Ganun. Tapos tiwala lang sa game plan and mag-execute lang lagi. All right, thank you so much, Ruyan. Congratulations to your team, Matthew Mixon and... Thank you, Apple. And I therefore conclude that Mitch Datuin raised a good boy. He's really yeah. soft-spoken. <laughs> soft confirmed. Spoken. Good. Yes, confirmed. <laughs> and, uh, a good attitude by the young guy as, again, this is his shining and shimmering moment to perform on national television in the Spiker Surf Invitational Conference. We are seeing some highlights. I'm sure you want to give a shout out to another player. Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, we we did mention ano, si Gloria also one of the top scorers here, but also kahit yung kanila mga non-scoring players eh, Pukita also had a good showing. Of course, hindi sila makaka-opensa ng ganyan if the distribution or mm -hmm. the the calls on the plays weren't as good as that. Defense was also good for uh, LaSalle today. For PCU, maganda yung kanilang recovery in the third set. Yun lang. Huli na, nahuli lang talaga. Oh, oh. Eh, kung nangyari sana yun, second set pa lang. Oh, oh, that could have been good momentum for them. As we look at the stats in set number three, this is where we see some disparity. No? It comes to offense, 16 for Lasal, 10 lang para sa PCU. Two block points for Lasal, one for uh, PCU. But ito yung sinasabi natin in the third set, what uh, was different is that maraming pamigay itong uh, DLSU. They uh, gave away 11 points. And uh, PCU, on the other hand, was able to minimize their errors to six it's just that they weren't able to create those points no as much as uh, we'd like and so we can only hope for the best uh, in terms of recovery for uh, pc Saskin. they do have a couple of games left in mm -hmm. pool b of our competition as for dlsu echo oil they remain undefeated sabi nga ni apple sa atin no yung kanilang star players uh -oh. kuno Kasi na jm rogilio vince maglinao and noel campton pang quarter finals pa yung mga uh -oh. yan so in the meantime, let's see who else can step up for the LSU in our eliminations. So up next, we have Chef on a Diet, FEU, taking on Bayleaf LPU to be followed by Perpetual versus Philippine Army and then Signal HD going up against the Santa Rosa City Lions. A lot more volleyball action to happen inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center. Thank you for joining us for Andre Mulyakanda and Apple David. My name is Migs Gomez and we'll be back for your Spiker Surf Invitational Conference.